James Matt 3. And that James Matt. What the fuck they mean? Yeah. When you speak of the dog, gotta speak of the God. While we speaking the code in your humble abode, I got the humblest hoes. Yo, yo, yo. It's James Matt 3 Radio. You know what I'm saying? Inspired by James Matt 3 TV. I am your host, James Matt 3. And this is James Mac 3 Incorporated. Talk to me. I mean, I want to tell, I want to give a little story about when a nigga first came home, you know what I'm saying, from the joint. And I tried to go back to hustling in my old ways and shit like that. Not even really hustling. It was more of trying to smoke, you feel me, and not spend my little extra work money. So I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, flip and smoke. But that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you all the I'm gonna tell you all the details of the shit. And when you hear everything, you are like this nigga crazy. You know what I mean, this situation was crazy, yeah. You put yourself in a fucked up ass situation, Jamie or that one. For y'all that for y'all that don't know, you know what I'm saying? I got the uh Jada James bipolar shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Jada James uh, bipolar productions. You know what I'm saying? Jada is just the uh, the alter ego of James, you know what I'm saying? When, when, when James feel like he, he overwhelmed, that's when Jada stepped in. So when I say Jada, I'm still talking about me. I ain't talking about Kiss or Pinky, you know, no disrespect to them, but this I mean this this, this is the James Mad 3 story film, so let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm gonna hit you with another story after this one. But I'm gonna first just give you this point right here, so. It was like maybe, I was home for like maybe 60 days. You know what I'm saying? At this time, I'm living at my grandmother's house. At my grandma, my grandmother was still living at this time. God rest her soul. But I was at my grandmother's house at this time. It was me, my grandmother, my cousin Shakita. I think they her kids was dead. When this when this shit kicked off, so it's around it's on on the Alameda and Woodburn out there. I mean, well, on the on Woodburn off the Alameda, you used to uh, fuck with this this young kid I met from. Uh, DL, you know what I'm saying? On, on the grass tip, though, I was just getting ready. Nigga had some studio shit. I bought some studio shit from him, you know what I'm saying? So from time to time, I was up there. I went and hollered at the nigga with DL, you know what I'm saying? Check out the studio shit. And I grabbed a little studio shit from the nigga. So that's all. That's far, that's far as it go. A little brown skin nigga with glasses, with dreads and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I forgot his name, you know what I mean? Even if I did know his name, I ain't gonna say no names on this shit. I'm just gonna keep it moving. So, boom, I hit that nigga one day, you feel me? And at this time, I had just came home. So, the loud, you know, the exotic weed and shit, that shit was too strong for a nigga. So, I was smoking Reggie. You feel me? Yeah, man. Uh, around 2009, 2010, I believe. The end of 2010, when I came home, I, I, was, I was smoking Reggie, fellas. Ladies, I mean, the kid was smoking motherfucking Reggie. So, okay. I hit the nigga, bomb. Yo, I man, I'm trying to grab one, you feel me? I'm trying, you know what I mean? So, I don't have to be searching around for my little grass, whatever. Um, I don't know why they wasn't pissing me or I had went through the piss. It might have been, it might have been 60, I've been home for like 60 days or something. Or I think it was like 60 days. I had worked it down the way as though they was um, only pissing me. Um, like on a random tip, you know what I mean? I ain't come straight home and just was smoking. I waited till it was the random shit and I had a good rapport with the, with the P.O. bro. I mean, I had a white lady. She was cool as shit. She wasn't on a nigga back or nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? When I got the black P.O. lady, though, right after her, oh, yeah, that bitch was on some shit. I don't even know why. I guess I look like a baby father or something or a nigga that heard of it. Anyway, I was doing a random, so that's how I was smoking and just, you know what I mean? I was just smoking a little Reggie here and there, but. So 
So I called the nigga, the nigga like, boy, I'm be on my way. And like I said, he lived right around my grandmother's way. So the nigga's right up the street. I'm like, yo, come down Woodburn. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm just gonna hop in and we can go ahead and ride. You know what I'm saying? Soon as I come out the house, and I go stand like at the, you know, at the at the bottom of the, like my grandmother's house, I walk down her little pavement, the little pavement, her little uh, walkway, whatever. And then as soon as I get to the end of the shit where the street at, the nigga pulling up on the other side of the street. Feel me? So I run across the street, boom, get in the car. Get in there, close the door, he drive off. Now the next street, the next street that come up, cross street come up, is North, um, Northwood. You feel me? So as soon as I get in, I got the money in my hand already. So I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm, I wait till he get down, ready to hit the left on, on, um, on Northwood. It's a big ass triangle. Alameda, Woodburn, and Northwood is a triangle. So the Alameda and Northwood, they go into the point of the triangle. And like the flat part you know, up at the top is Woodburn. That's like you go down there and, and you can you, you can turn on Alameda or you can turn on Northern I mean Northwood and you can get I mean well, if you turn on the Ala, the Northwood, you can get to the Alameda, right? If you turn on the Alameda, you can get to Northwood. It's like a triangle, you know what I'm saying? And, and you can hit both of them streets, cross streets on the Woodburn, if that make any sense. But anyway, he banged the left on Northwood. And, and, the, and while he's banging the left, I'm giving him the bread, and he giving me the ounce of Reggie, you feel me? My mother gonna be mad as shit when she hear the story. You feel me? <laughs> my, my grandmother might bust me upside the head from the motherfucking... Uh, from the, from the spiritual realm for this one because I don't even know I don't think I told him this story but anyway I get the grass and yo pull on Northwood and stop like right by the alley so I can go through the alley and go back to the crib boom real easy shit you know what I'm saying I don't look suspicious or nothing so when I get the when I get the Reggie I, and he stopped by the alley I get out the car right he pulls up the alley I don't know why he did that, but this nigga pulled straight up the alley where I got where I'm about to walk to, right? So I'm looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that was kind of odd. But anyway, I ain't never did that before. But anyway, soon as soon as he hit the alley, I, I hear a voice. You feel me? Where the weed at? I pay it no mind really, cause I don't know nobody, so I keep walking just to get to the, the, the tip of the alley or the end of the alley where I need to go. So, you know what I'm saying? I hear him again, like, hey, where the weed at? I turn around, it's the motherfucking undercovers. It's a white, a fat white dude that's driving and it's a, a fat black dude that's in the passenger seat. You feel me? So I already tucked, I already tucked the, 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 the Reggie. You know what I mean? I already tucked the Reggie. So when I turn around and I see they face, you feel me? It's like, I guess the, the look on my face is shocked and like a day in headlights or some shit. So they think that I'm going motherfucking just freeze right there. Like, come here for a minute. Soon as he open the door, I break up the alley. Boom. You feel me? <laughs> I'm getting it. You know what I mean? Hit the alley on they ass. So when I hit the alley, the nigga, caught, he not out the, out the, out the uh, motherfucking car. He's like opening the door to step his leg out. So he closed it real fast. And they hit up the alley after me and shit, right? So when they hit up the alley, the alley turns into like a V. Because I told you it's a triangle on the street. So right here is like a V. You can go up the alley. You can go make a right and hit and hit hit the alley going towards like the Alameda or like the end of North or Northwood. And you can hit straight up the alley where you're going to hit Woodburn and the Alameda up that way. So I'm when I hit the alley, they, they, they and they hit the alley with the car, I'm like right there at or like right about to hit approach that v and i'm like yo which way to go you feel what i'm saying so when i'm pushing the v i'm like fuck it i'm just gonna hit straight through the grass say fuck going up the alley which way or the alley i'm just gonna hit the grass and then hit these gates right here where these houses at you know what i mean because I, them riding through the grass with all this bumps and shit right here this is what i'm thinking in my mind they ain't gonna be able to you know just hit me or some shit so 
I go for the motherfucking grass, which is going straight instead of making going left or right, you know, on a V or the alley. I go straight, right? Go straight through the grass. But these motherfuckers then already zoomed up on me. So I, you know what I mean, with the car to cut me off from going left. So I, and, and, and to cut me off from going straight through the grass, it wouldn't be smart because they might hit me with the car and then I'm done. So I, I, I hit them with the fake left. I fake left. Then hit right, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going, you know what I mean? I fake left and go right, you know what I mean? So they gotta make the turn, a, a, a quick little turn on the car, or whatever. And when they do that, the nigga actually hit me with the car, like the, the front of the car, you know, or the front and, and the side of the car. But the way he hit me, it kind of gave me a boost. So I, so when I, when he hit me with the car a little bit, it kind of gave me a boost, and I like my, I like, like I, I, I was still on my feet, but I went in the air a little bit and boom. Right back on my feet running on the right side of the alley. So once they straighten the car and coming that way, I, 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 I straight bang the left, a hard left going through the grass where I was trying to go at first. You know what I'm saying? Because I know if I'm going up the alley and, and they right beside me, they're going to hit me. They're going to stop me. There's some, du some dogs some dugs and shit up there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hop in them gates and them duds and they bite my ass up. And I know that's a long ass you know what I'm saying, alley right there that I gotta run up with no motherfucking, you know, no space, but this big ass car taking up most of the alley, I'ma get caught. So I, you know what I mean, I get hit with the car, boom, which makes me go push right, where like I'm like I'm ready to commit to going to the right, going up the alley, then so I can hit um, um, Northwood Street, you know what I'm saying? So they straighten the car out to go up that, straight up the alley, and that's when I bang left. Right through the grass where I was trying to go. Boom, I hit the grass. Wham. When I hit the grass, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know, uh, maybe, I'm, I got maybe a car length of space between me and them. So now they banging, they banging the hard left with the car coming on the grass because they so close to me. And they don't want to jump out because they fat boys and I get a little bit more room. So boom, and here they come through the grass. But by this time, I done made it to one of the houses and tall, tall gates. So, I hopped the gate. No, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I hopped the gate. Boom. When I hopped the gate, it's like one of those jump. I, like, I hit the gate, the top of the gate with my motherfucking chest. And I flipped over that bitch. When I flipped over, I went to turn around so I can hit, you know, go through the houses. Because the houses are set, separated and it's just gates and shit. So, I can just hit the gate, hit the gate. You know what I'm saying? But I fell. When I fell, my nigga, when I hopped the gate, them motherfuckers wasn't going to come through the gate. They opened their doors to get out. When I fell, nigga, for some fucking reason, they went to open the car doors and then closed them when I fell and ran through the gate. When they ran through the gate, I was already, like, getting back up on my feet. So I couldn't go straight. Cause me going straight, that would have been like the car was already right there. He could have hopped out. They could have grabbed me. But I start hopping gates sideways. Like you know, the houses go in a straight line. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the at. I'm in the uh, the people yard where gates are side by side, and it's openings to go through. Whereas though it's cracks in the houses where the gates and shit are, so you can go straight through the gates. Like straight through them cracks and get to the Alameda. So I got a choice to make. I can go straight or I can bang, hit this left and hit all these gates down. And when I hit these gates, that's gonna take me back. That's gonna take me back in the alley, but but right up where like where my grandmother live at, like in this little corner and my, my and my grandmother's house is spaces in the house right there. So I can run up that way too. I don't know if I'm explaining it well though you can understand. <laughs> I know I'm, I done hit a whole lot of lefts and rights, but we in the alley. I mean, we in the we, we in the motherfucking um in the backyard now. It's a big ass white house, you know what I'm saying? We in the backyard. I hit the gate. They get they act like they wanted to get out. The, 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 like you know what I'm saying? They act like they wanted to get out to hop the gate or go through the gate to chase me on foot. But when I fell, I guess they say fuck it, we gonna come through the motherfucking gate. You know what I mean? So they come through the gate. Boom! When they hit the gate, the gate like kind of stick on their shit. And they trying to open the door and shit, which gives me a little bit more time. I'm getting up anyway. So I decided to go left instead of trying to run up through the houses. Because then they could, then they might could get chased and grab me real fast before I hit another gate. But if I go, you know what I'm saying, to the left, 
and hit the gates all the way down, it's gonna be hard for them fat ass niggas to catch me. So that's what I did. I start hitting gates, boom, boom. Just keep hitting them bitches, hitting them bitches. Them fat motherfuckers, they wasn't gonna run through all them other people yards. You feel me? They wasn't gonna run their cars through the rest of them people fences. So they just like looking at me. You know what I'm saying? But then they, they get back and they they, they vehicle and pull that bitch, pull that bitch out of the gate, I mean out of the yard. And that's giving me time to keep hopping gates, keep hopping gates. By this time I'm almost to my grandmother yard, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I went on and just, you know what I mean, threw the weed out like in the grass somewhere, like just while I was running, I just got rid of it. But it's, it's already close to my grandmother's house. So my dumb ass, my dumb ass hit, hit up in my grandmother yard, cause them niggas is just getting a car out the gate. You know what I'm saying? I hit my grandmother, y'all, to run up through it, right back on Woodburn. And for some stupid reason, I go in the house. These niggas know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. But yeah, I go back up, and I go in my grandmother's house, and I go in the basement. It's a, like a little trap, little door type of little section where it goes. It's like, it's real hard to see in there. It's like, in the, like, under the steps type shit. Real, go real deep in that bitch for some reason. I don't know why they made it like that, but yeah. That's where I started hiding at. I went down there. I didn't even tell my grandmother really what's going on. I just went down there and hid. You know what I'm saying? And then the police, here they go, like maybe 10 minutes, knocking on my grandmother motherfucking door. Which means them niggas seen where I came out, what house I came out of. But I'm gonna get to that. So they in there asked my grandmother hella shit. My grandmother, G. Like, I don't know where that boy at, you feel me? Like, I don't know, like, I ain't even see him come in. Like, what is you talking about? Like, what's going on? They don't know what I what I got, or they just know, I don't know what they know, but I know they looking for my ass, you feel me? They in the house, they, they staring down where I'm hiding at. They get to the basement now. They not supposed to be in the house, though, you feel me? They not supposed to, this is illegal shit. They know that, but they trying their arm um, anyway. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother one of them was, was one of them church women, you know what I mean? She cooperate with the police, but she ain't gonna tell you shit. She ain't gonna say where you nigga at, but she ain't gonna like, like no, you can't come in the house type shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I seen her open them doors for the police, but yeah, she, so I knew what the business was. So she opened the door, they come in, they go upstairs, they, they, they search you through, I can hear them, cause I'm always down in the basement behind the steps. So when they get down there, they flashing their lights, but these niggas cannot find me. I mean, I'm right there. I'm not even, I'm breathing hard and everything, but I'm trying to hold it in because they right there and they flashing the lights down in the dark space. But it's like a, like the, uh, what's the shit called? The, 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 the uh, furnace or whatever that shit is. It was like sitting right there where so you really couldn't get in there and it was hard waves and shit. Them niggas was already illegal. They ain't want to squeeze their fat asses back there. They didn't pop their heads back there. They didn't see me. Boom, right there. Anyway, about three minutes of looking like that, they leave. Right? My grandmother and them like, what the hell, boy? What the fuck going on? What you done got yourself into? I made up a real motherfucking extravagant lie about me being with my homeboy going out there and the police chasing him. And I jumped out the car because I was scared. And then they chased me, you feel me? So, I, you know, keep it safe that I ain't doing no dumb shit out here trying to, you know what I'm saying? My grandma wasn't on that bullshit. She was mad about me doing that, that six and eight on ten. You feel me? So... I made up a crazy story. I don't know if she believed me or not, but it got me out of the hot seat of her, you know, leaning on me. So I tell Keita, you know, my cousin Keita, go get that weed for me. I left it over there. <laughs> go, it was in this grass right here. Yo, make sure them niggas ain't out there, but then go get that motherfucking grass, you know. But she go get my grass for me and shit. So, you know what I mean? I mean, that bitch is thinking like, yo, I can't be doing this stupid shit, yo. I almost went back, violated parole, because I was on parole and shit at this time. Like, still, I'm like, man, I could have I could've just violated parole, man. That motherfucking been back in there doing the rest of this 10 over some motherfucking Reggie. Over some Reggie? Come on, yo. Man, like, I was just all like, I was just, that was just some dumb shit, you feel me? Nigga could have been back in the joint. You know what I mean? You just don't know what type of shit I done went through. Everybody would have been disappointed. And then not only did I, would I have been going back to the joint, it had been over some motherfucking Reggie. That's the last time I think I smoked Reggie. I, I graduated to exotic because I didn't even take heed to the message right. You feel me? I'm like, fuck that. They gonna be chasing me. I'm be doing all this. I'm be, I'm gonna be smoking that good. <laughs> fuck that. I need that motherfucking loud pack, man. Give me that shit. Instead of me thinking like, whoa, maybe I should stop fucking with this weed all together until I'm on parole. You know what I'm saying? But that's one of the, that's a that's a story of a dumb of a dumb nigga not thinking, you know what I'm saying? Trying to hang out and be cool and smoke and shit, you know what I'm saying? Now I got the weed card, I got a little smart, you know what I'm saying? I got 
PTSD, P T yeah, PTSD, ain't that what they say? Yeah, that's what it is. Post traumatic stress disorder, I got that shit. So now I got the weed cards away you holes. You know what I'm saying? No, it's a motherfucking problem. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, you know what I mean, pull up on me and try. But I'm off parole with all that shit, you know what I mean? Thank God right now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never get caught up. And then I went through that whole, what was it? Mm-hmm. It was like four or five years of parole. No, hold up. Three years of parole. So like two and a half, three years of parole. I don't know the straight numbers, but I know it was like three years, two years, something like that. Two and a half years on parole and then I was good so for like two and a half years man I went on and I made it out that shit without getting no violations you know what I mean and that was all God but I got a couple more stories where I did some dumb shit and I'm gonna come back and get them to you talk to me James Matt 3 and that James man. what the fuck they mean yeah. When you speak of the dog, gotta speak of the God While we speaking the cold in your humble abode I got the humblest hoes, turn the concrete jungle I rose humbly, it's the cork of the road We eat then left, what's left, got left for the crows Boys and men, it's the end of the road It's only fact when according to yo Yo, facts is important to know Big straps when important to load Big racks when exporting the knowledge Hood nigga, but I think I'm a scholar Good nigga, can't see past the dollars I'm a heart at the file I got bounce like Ja Rule nigga Next to the impala, holla I don't need you to follow me Trying to sleep be Halloween I can show you how to see Smoke with James Mac 3, that's a whole lot of weed. We puff, 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 pass. Ain't fuck up, he fucked up bad. Had to reconstruct the construct, damn. Going hard as a motherfucker. Ham, this pit ain't got nothing to do with brag. Big chips, the only way to brag. This chopper split a nigga staff. Don't make me wop on a nigga ass. The underdog is surely underrated. Understatement, underestimated. Falling on them under regulation. The old man is off his medication. I'm out of my mind, I'm about to cut up. It wasn't designed for you to love. Up. A matter of time to kill you and your prime for overstepping them lines, but we enlightened their minds. So shut the fuck up. All I needed was the pain, but superseded was the rain. All I needed was a change. God flowed through these veins. All I need is me, James. Keep MCs looking out, one man army, man. I never been taken out. Big smoke like a little nigga cooking out. Had to straighten up just to show him what a crook about. I don't know how to preach, I don't know how to reach. All I know is do the work down here in this dirt. Let me show you how to teach. Nervous nigga hit the brakes, let the coppers give it chase. Had a nigga hopping gates, 10 years on a plate. Had to learn from their mistakes. I denounce allegiance to this flag. Pledge allegiance to myself, pledge allegiance to my queen, pledge allegiance to my sons and daughters. Nigga, what the fuck you mean? They gon' tell you that he snapped. I'ma tell you it's a fact. I came out the gaze, I ain't come up on the cave. I can't Speak on none of that. Watch for the trap. This the reason that I rap. They the reason that it's crap. They the reason that it's smack. Niggas walking around with that monkey on they back. Facts. Since the devil throwing shade, we been drinking lemonade. Big mama prayed that a nigga stay paid. But you gotta pay how you weigh. Take that to the grave. James Mac 3, nigga. I'm that. The fuck they mean? I'm futuristic on this shit, nigga. I know you hear me. I told the nigga, give me the beat, nigga. I'm going futuristic, man. Finally gave me the beat. I know you hear me. James Mack, dude, nigga. You ready? Cause we ready.